enclose it the entire organelle. So in space are very mitochondrial spaces present. So the ions and sugars in the entire membrane space is the same as in the cytosol. So what is the chemical composition? So generally, so next one is the inner membrane. So it is it is the infolded double phospholipid layer and it is the site for the production of ATP. So specific transport of protein that regulates the metabo uh, metabolite passage in and out of the mito matrix. So next one is the cristae and matrix. So cristae is the folding of the inner membrane that allows more surface area and which enhancing its ability to produce the ATP. So generally in uh, generally mitochondria is called as powers of because here production of ATP will take place in the mitochondria. So the matrix is the space which enclosed by the inner membrane. So what is the chemical composition of this mitochondria means protein 70% lipids 25 to 30 percent and RNA 1 percent and DNA more than um, less than 1 percent. So in functions of the mitochondria so it is important and main function is to produce the ATP. So therefore it is also called as a powerhouse of the cell and the Krebs cycle of the cellular respiration is also takes place in mitochondrial matrix. And which also regulate the cellular metabolism. So it plays important role in the cytoplasmic inheritance. Uh, and it is the site for metabolic pathway, TCA cycle, urea cycle and um, fatty acid oxidation etc. takes place in the mitochondria. So this is the structure of the mitochondria. So it contains outer membrane and here inner membrane it shows foldings. So in between this the matrix is present and the space between the outer and inner membrane it is called as the intermembrane space. So this is the so these are the criste and matrix inner membrane and this one is the outer membrane. So next one is the chloroplast and plant-like protist. So it contains chlorophyll. Hence, it imports a characteristic green color due to presence of this chlorophyll pigment. In the chloroplast, it gives green color to the plants and carry out photosynthesis, the ultimate source of all organic compounds. So it is average cell may have 20 to 40 chloroplast. So chlamydomonas have one chloroplast per cell. So what is the chemical composition of this chloroplast means? Proteins 50 to 59%. Lipids 21 to 34 percent, chlorophyll 5 to 8 percent, and carotenoids 0.7 to 1.1 percent, and RNA 1 to 7.5 percent, and DNA 0.2 to 1 percent. So, origin, of, origin and evolution of this chloroplast generally plastered evolution, which takes place through the cyanobacterium. So, cyanobacterium to chloroplast that is a photosynthesis, lipid synthesis. So, here. Mm, here, One color thing. specialized for the colors. It is a chromoplast, amyloplast for starch storage and light dependent development, One etioplast thing. and protoplast, proplast. That One is the thing. development. So, structure plano convex lens like structures phi 2, that is 5 micrometers to 2 to into 2 into 2 to 3 micrometers. So it is a double layered envelope and granular stromar matrix. So lamellar system and osmophilic globules and chloroplast DNA. So this is the structure. So it contains granum and stromata helicoids. Um, so generally. So the main function is photosynthesis and which contribute to heredity in the form of cytoplasmic inheritance. So next one is the endoplasmic reticulum. So it is a web-like series of membranes within the cytoplasm in the form of flattened sheets or sacs or tubes and creates many membranes enclosed spaces and spreads toward the cytoplasm and has a connections with the outer membrane of the nucleus and plasma membrane. So endoplasmic reticulum, endo means inside, cytoplasmic reticulum means a network, network of membranes inside the cytoplasm. So they are interconnected network of the tubules and vesicles. Uh, 
so this is the structure so here this uh, this is the um, endoplasmic reticulum so again this endoplasmic reticulum it is have uh, two types i should so rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum so this is the rough endoplasmic reticulum and this one is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum so that is rough endoplasmic uh, reticulum are studded with the ribosome so the endoplasmic reticulum which are att attached with the uh, ribosomes it is called as a rough endoplasmic reticulum and it is a site of synthesis of many proteins and all ribosomes on endo rough endoplasmic reticulum are actively involved in protein synthesis Next one is a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It is a site for synthesis of steroids and other lipids and calcium storage in the muscles. So detoxification of the drugs, the toxins and alcohols, especially in the liver will take place in this smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So functions rough endoplasmic reticulum, which synthesizes the proteins and due to, um, because this rough endoplasmic, that is they are associated with the ribosomes and helps in the protein synthesis. Whereas the smooth endoplasmic reticulum synthesizes the phospho, synthesizes phospholipids, cholesterol in many tissues and steroid hormones. So smooth endoplasmic reticulum, endoplasmic reticulum is the site for glycogen metabolism and which removes the phosphate groups from the glucose 6 phosphate and release the free glucose in the blood. So in liver and kidney detoxifies the drugs, toxins and carcinogens and which also circulation and transport and storage of proteins and minerals. A large surface areas for engine action. So next one is the Golgi complex. So consists of the 3 to 20 cisternae, small flattened membranous sacs. So prominent in cells that secrete the proteins and accept the vesicles on one side and produce the vesicles on the other. So main functions is modification of proteins and lipids, storage and packing of the molecules and post surface of the cell that is the trans cells in the synthesis. So next one is the ribosomes. So the protein synthetic machinery two subunits that is a large and small so each made up of protein and ribosomal rna that is the rrna so granular structures present on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum and also as a free so first observed by the george pellade and non-membrane bound organelle measures 22 to 30 22 into 32 nanometers and contains 85 percent of rna of the cell so what is the function of these ribosomes mean? They are the sub, they are subunits associated when the when they are synthesizing the proteins. And protein synthesis occurs on the ribosomes and that are free floating in the cytoplasm and on the ribosomes attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. So rRNA is synthesized in the nucleolus. So this is the structure. So it is a last, larger subunit and smaller subunit. So they unite to form the uh, ribosome structure next one is the lysosomes so vesicle filled with the digestive enzymes used for intracellular digestion and particles can be taken into cells by the phagocytosis and vesicle fused with the lysosome so the components of the organelles can be recycled after digestion by the lysosomes so main function of this lysosomes is garbage disposal and break down a bacteria entering the cell and warn out the organelles and intracellular digestion. So generally lysosomes they are called as the suicidal bags. So they mainly helps in the digestion. So next one is the vacuole. So it is a membrane bound sac and contains liquid or solids. So larger than the vesicles. So function is storage. Mainly a container of water, food, the enzymes, waste, and also the pigments, etc. So next one is the centriole. So it is a part of the specialized region of the cell called the centrosome or cell center. Mainly found in animals and most protista. The centrioles are involved in the production of microtubules. So microtubules, so this is a centriole, it is the special, so generally centriole which is present in the animal cell, animal cell and it is absent in the plant cell and found in uh, so microtubules have many functions which include the moving the chromosome during cell division and the central structure that is nine triplets of microtubules which surrounding a hollow core. 
So similar to the basal body of the flagella. So this is the structure. So centrioles are short cylinders and arranged at right angle to each other. So this is about the cell organelles which are present in the eukaryotic cell. So in next class we will continue. Uh, Okay, madam. Sir. May I add? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, regarding of this class, uh, my dear friends, any doubts? Okay. Madam, I clearly explained about the uh, cell structure and important cell organelles like mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, cytoskeleton and other cell organelles you are clearly explained in this class uh, it is uh, uh, very important my dear friends all the competitive exams definitely without cell organelles question or cell uh, biology questions we definitely absorb in our competitive exams better listen carefully uh, i will send the youtube link very sh shortly so thank you very much madam thank you sir right madam thank you very much